Amidst the array of challenges facing Ghana, including soaring energy costs, inflation, and hefty government debts, the nation is steadfast in its efforts to overcome these hurdles. One of the pivotal strategies to surmount these obstacles is through robust infrastructure development. Ghana has embarked on a series of ambitious mega-projects spanning from 2024 through 2027, aiming to showcase its prowess not only within West Africa, but across the continent as a whole. In this presentation, let's delve into these transformative ventures that Ghana is spearheading to reshape its landscape. At the forefront is the Marine Drive Okra Project, a monumental initiative set to redefine the coastal allure of Accra, Ghana's capital. Stretching along the coastline from OSU to Christiansborg Castle, this expansive urban development endeavor seeks to elevate the coastal region into a world-class tourism and entertainment hub, a vision initially envisaged by Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwam Nkrumah. With a revitalized skyline offering a plethora of opportunities for both locals and tourists alike, this project spans over 241 acres along the Atlantic Ocean, spearheaded by the government of Ghana. Comprising residential, commercial, recreational and cultural facilities, the project will unfold in multiple phases, with the initial phase already underway. The total projected cost for this endeavor stands at a staggering 1.5 billion USD. Additionally, another noteworthy project on Ghana's horizon is the redevelopment of the Ghana International Trade Fair Center. Funded by the Ghana Trade Fair Company Limited, along with enthusiastic investors, developers, and financiers, the Ghana International Trade Fair Center is set to occupy a sprawling 150-acre plot. The envisioned facilities include a state-of-the-art, mixed-use commercial estate featuring convention and exhibition structures, shopping malls, offices, a trade village, leisure centers, hotels, cultural parks and amusement facilities incorporating locally made technological innovations. Serving as a hub for commercial research and upscale manufacturing products, the project aims to bolster industrialization particularly at the small and medium scale. Executed in three phases over a span of three to five years, the project endeavors to create a modern, mixed-use, smart, green, and sustainable environment. With a proposed budget of 2 billion USD, the project is anticipated to generate over 10,000 jobs upon completion. Moving on to the Apollonia City project, Nestled in the northeast of the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area, across a vast 2,535-acre expanse, this visionary urban centre is poised to alleviate Ghana's housing shortage across residential, commercial and retail sectors, while also providing employment zones for high-tech and other industries. Upon its finalisation, the city will boast 25,000 housing units accommodating over 100,000 residents, along with facilities to welcome 20,000 day visitors, a 200-acre light industrial park, a 120-acre central business district, and extensive public parks and gardens spanning over 300 acres. Designed as a pedestrian-friendly community development with interconnected streets and green spaces branching out from the central park, the project is on track for completion by 2025 showcasing remarkable progress. The Petronia City project, spanning 2,000 acres, is envisioned as the premier fully integrated business hub, catering to West Africa's oil, gas, and mining industries. Since the 2007 oil discovery, which sparked a surge in socio-economic activities in Ghana's western region, efforts have been underway to address the region's infrastructural needs. Spearheaded by Wonderworld Estates and the Petronia City Development Affiliate, this ambitious project aims to tackle the challenges in the area. Situated eight kilometers from Takoradi, the capital of Ghana's western region, 
the project has attracted the attention of British multi-millionaire property developer Azadeh Kola and Ghanaian serial entrepreneur Nana Kwame Bediako. Turning our focus to the Ghana National Cathedral project, a visionary endeavor poised to become a quintessential multi-denominational landmark. Envisioned as a sacred space, accommodating religious ceremonies and prestigious state events, this grandiose structure boasts a seating capacity of 5,000 individuals, alongside housing, a museum, and a distinguished music school. However, the project has encountered its share of challenges, including escalating costs exacerbated by inflationary pressures and economic setbacks stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic. Nevertheless, despite these hurdles, the endeavor has regained momentum with an impressive allocation of over 400 million USD dedicated to its eventual completion. Drawing inspiration from a rich tapestry of Christian symbolism intertwined with the profound heritage of Ghanaian culture, the cathedral's architectural blueprint pays homage to iconic elements such as the nation's esteemed seat of authority, the stool, and celestial symbolism epitomized by Bowman ceremonial canopies and the sacred tabernacle. In another sphere of development, significant strides are being made in the Temaport Phase II expansion project, a vast undertaking spanning an expansive area of 270,000 square meters. This ambitious expansion endeavor aims to bolster the port's capacity and operational efficiency by enlarging its terminal footprint from 100 hectares to an impressive 127 hectares. The project is set to commence with the prioritization of a section spanning 50,000 square meters, slated for completion by July 2024, with the remaining area earmarked for finalization by September 2025. Financing for this monumental project is a collaborative effort between the Ghanaian government and the esteemed World Bank institution. Shifting our attention to the Bogatanga Airport project, an initiative spearheaded by the esteemed Shandong Gold Group, a prominent Chinese state-owned entity actively involved in the Cardinal Nandini project within Ghana, the construction of a brand new airport facility in Bogatanga, the capital of the Upper East region, is well underway. This transformative development endeavors to revolutionize transportation accessibility to and from the region, stimulating economic growth and fostering employment opportunities for the local populace. Furthermore, the airport's strategic location will streamline operational logistics for the Shandong Gold Group and facilitate the transportation of precious commodities notably gold, thus eliminating the necessity to commute to Tamal Airport for flight services, thereby curtailing both time constraints and transportation costs. Anticipated to reach completion by the culmination of 2025, this ambitious airport endeavor heralds a new era of connectivity and economic vitality for the Upper East region. Transitioning to the forthcoming establishment of an AstroTurf sporting facility in the Volta region, poised to be a pioneering addition to the vibrant landscape of the HO municipality, this visionary project spearheaded by the government of Ghana in collaboration with the esteemed Ghana Gas Company Limited, seeks to foster the nurturing and cultivation of football talent while simultaneously catalyzing positive economic ripple effects across the region. Engineered to meet the exacting standards set forth by the Volta Football Region, VEFR. This state-of-the-art AstroTurf facility is slated for completion by April 2024, with the responsibility of construction entrusted to the esteemed Land Wind Company Limited.